Hey guys, I'm just working with this ceiling mount here. Thought I'd show you a couple tricks with this one. Um, the instructions weren't very clear, but what you have to do is you'll notice that little silver square in here, or round piece is in here, and it'll be up like this. You have to squeeze it as, with all your might, and I like to put my knee against here, and then see how it slides? So you squeeze it as hard as you can, slide it, and then you can work that silver piece out. When you lock back in, you make sure it's still lined up center, slide it in, and then you have to lock it in and it has to sit completely round. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Uh, nope, not yet. But yeah, squeeze, pull back, there we go. See that just locked in, you can see that screw hole is now lined up. So now you would put your security screw in there. Do it on the other three, or if you have four where it's got a four mount, do that too. Now, note the orientation. If your joist is like that in the ceiling, then make sure that you mount this plate like that. If your joist is like this, make sure you mount the plate like this. But just keep in mind which screws you're tightening and loosening so you can adjust. Once you do that, put these four little acorns on here. What that's gonna allow is this to come in and lock into there. Another thing, once these are out, you can set the height like this. I just usually just give you the maximum right there so it locks in. And then like I said, just make sure that is like that. Slide it on, locks in, put in your safety screw. Next, it's really important to figure out where your balance point is. As I found out, this is the central balance point of the entire projector. How you'll figure that up is just grab on different points and see where you can balance it on the sides and then do it on the front too, especially if you have an off angle lens. Once you do that, you need to center the plate. So I put the plate here, put these pretty central to the plate like that. Boom, and we're right over top. I might have to right there, but we'll tighten these up. I'll lift it up and make sure we're balanced. This is gonna make it way easier when it comes to doing your final adjustments. Take these acorns and tighten them up with your security Allen key. Once you're at this point, Make sure you crank these bad boys down so they're nice and real tight. Pick it up right here and pick it up right there and make sure that you're balanced. Once you've done so, like I said, for me, my joist is like this towards the screen. So I want it to mount like this. If yours was the other way, then you would have mounted this plate the, the other way. Now that I have everything and I know my measurements, go on projector central, go ahead and make sure you're gonna line up perfectly for your screen and your distance because you need to know your throw distance. So throw in your projector make and model. It'll tell you how much give you have. For me, I know I have enough play to put it off this beam. And then if you really wanna make sure, set your ladder up and then shoot your projector so that way you only have to mount once. First for me, it doesn't come with leg bolts. So there's some 10 millimeter leg bolts I have kicking around in my box. I'm going to just do two diagonal on this one because these two alone should hold about 200 pounds and I'm not really too worried at all because this is a very light projector. If you're going to start doing some very heavy projectors, you might want to consider putting all four in, but these two bolts on that heavy duty beam, not even worried. Put them through, tighten it right up to this post, as you can see, centered with the screen. Now we're gonna slide projector on, tighten two of the edge acorns. I'm gonna take the other two out, slide the metal plate on, tighten those guys, crank them down, and then I'm gonna loosen these two off, put the other metal plate on, and tighten those two acorns up. I just screwed these acorns in as deep as I could, and they actually lock into a nice groove in there, and this doesn't move at all, so you know what? That's good enough for me. So that's how you install this projector once again. With this projector mount, just make sure you crank these nice and tight. From there, we'll fire it up. Make sure that you put your level on here and you make sure it's balanced on all corners. So balance it this way and balance it that way. And then tighten your screws up so it won't lose it. And then from there, you can do the rest of your adjustment through the projector through the lens shift.